And so I want to talk about season 10 of Real Housewives because that premiere was explosive. Do you love the premiere? This is the I best. Did. This is I've been I've been doing this for 10 years. This is the best season in a decade. It's 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 wild. Yeah. So many changes, so many shifts. Just transition and relationships, it's its a roller coaster ride. And I know um, from the premiere, a lot of people are wondering what happened between you and Carol in the fallout. Can you tell us anything? I, I, there's no fallout between Carol and myself. I really love Carol. Most of my friends, my best friends, I've had for 30 years, mm -hmm. my best friends. So I have my really tight knit group and meeting any new people is always I don't want to say risky, but it's not the same depth and dimension as friends you've, you've had your whole life. And creating friendships under these circumstances on a reality show with so many people around. We have our, the, the universe are voyeurs, but the castmates are too. So if you have any sort of slight shift, everybody's, well, what happened? And that happened. And so everyone's involved. There are too many cooks spoiling the broth. Yeah. But I love Carol and, you know, I love being on the show with her and it's been a great experience. Yeah, so maybe we'll see some more of that play out. You'll, you'll see a lot of that okay. play out, for sure. After 10 seasons, too, you have basically a whole catalog of a decade of your life. Do you go back and watch reruns or do you try and steer clear? I've never watched reruns. Never? Never. Why is that? I don't even watch the show now. When we get, we get the tape a week or whatever it's tape I'm like 97 years old <laughs> when we get the link a week before I watch it and that's the end of it mm -hmm. it just takes the pressure the night of airing I could be out to dinner and forget that it's airing mm -hmm. you know if it's a if it's a watch what happens live night I might be a little more connected but I don't want to I used to live in it mm -hmm. I have a daughter I have a massive business I have a relief effort so I don't live in the show as much as I used yeah. to. You've you got can't. enough going on. Yeah, I have a lot going on and you can't. It's unhealthy. Yeah. So Housewives really changed everything for you. Can you talk us through kind of what your life was like just before you signed on to the show and, and how that affected everything? Before Housewives, I lived in a tiny apartment with my dog Cookie, who passed away recently. Um, I had $8,000 to my name and a $2,600 rent, which is still expensive because it's New York City, which is astronomical. And I was just hustling. I was just trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. I wasn't married. I didn't have a daughter. I didn't have really a career and a full-time job. I just had dreams. And uh, the show absolutely changed my life. I mean, Bravo and I have been very good to each other and it's been uh, like a family and like a marriage that has its ups and downs, but I've been part of a massive change in the culture of Bravo mm -hmm. and Bravo has been part of a massive change in my life. Do you ever stop and think about what your life might be like if you hadn't signed on to Housewives and where you'd be right now? I wonder where I would be if I hadn't signed on to Housewives. I believe that I would have been successful, mm -hmm. not at this level, but I always had a feeling that I had something that I, that I was going to go all the way. And I've always been a pretty analytical thinker and an entrepreneur, so I think I would have, uh, I would have, I would have made it. I would have made it. I just don't. I maybe would have been married, and made the mistake of wanting someone to take care of me because mm -hmm. I couldn't take care of myself. I mean, I probably would have made similar mistakes just on a different road. You're known for being very no nonsense, take no prisoners. Is there ever a time when you feel really vulnerable? I feel vulnerable a lot. I mean, to be honest, on the show, I and more sensitive and vulnerable than most. And I seem to be the strongest mm -hmm. and the toughest, but uh, someone like Ramona or Luann can handle criticism, Sonia, they can handle criticism and people not liking them or talking badly about them probably better than I can. I mean, it, it really does hurt my feelings. I mm -hmm. think about it and I think, wait, I didn't really even do anything to deserve that. What? But sometimes it's not about what's actually just happening in the moment, you know? There's, there's, there's a disparity in the success and the cast. When I came on, I was the underdog. I was the broke one. Everyone was married to somebody rich. Everyone had a big apartment. Everyone had so much and I had nothing. So it's been, it's shifted, you know, and I have uh, homes and success. And so I sometimes, I'm aware that that might cause a little bit of friction and dissension within the cast. Yeah. But I, it, it, it makes me self-conscious and it makes me feel, uh, I'm aware of it. And I know you're a bit of a property maven. Any chance you would snap up something in Australia? I like to be near, I like to purchase things that I can manage and babysit. This is a little mm. bit far to have property. But I actually was looking in this area. I asked about some of the 
the places on this on this street because I guess uh, it used to be public housing in the rocks, and they've yeah. now turned it into and it looks like that which I was wondering it's sort of upscale downscale so this is probably this a really good pro project right this is a good place to invest <laughs> in my opinion if you like a project which I do so you never know <laughs>